did a big switcheroo yesterday. So last night we moved the chickens around, we moved the ducks around, we moved turkeys, we moved everybody into different areas. So we wanted to get the baby turkeys outside into that little chicken tractor. Well, there were some chicks in there. We wanted to move those chicks into this chicken tractor, but to do that, we had to move these chickens into the main coop. So we moved them in late last night. And while we were doing that, we moved a bunch out. And so we moved a bunch of these laying hens, some of our older hens, maybe a year or two old. And we've got a lot of chicks that are gonna be taking their place in the coop. So we moved them out and we're gonna work on selling all of those chickens. But to get those chickens into there, we had to move Mama Duck and her ducklings to here. But to move those ducklings into there, we had to move the mama hen and her turkeys and a couple chicks. We had to move them out and move them into here as well with the other chicks. So again, it was a big rotation. There were about four or five different moves that had to take place. It was late at night. It was about 10 o'clock last night. And so far as we could tell, everybody's still alive. Everybody's doing well. So with all those moves having taken place, we can now move the broad-breasted turkeys into this area out here. Let's do that. The watermelon the other day that I had in the pantyhose hanging on the chicken fence, it cracked for some reason, I'm not sure why. So I pulled it and I was like, well, is this a zucchini? And I cut it open and it's definitely a watermelon. For some reason it cracked though. I'll have to look up to see why. Look at that tiny little baby egg. And that's a normal sized egg. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in it. Small, it has a yolk still. We're over here working on the bee bait box. I've got it up over here. I put it up. It was our second box we got up uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. And I was just getting the slow release tubes in. And these cows are really friendly. You're pretty. This is Becky's grandma's place. It's, I don't know, maybe it's like 10 minutes south. So her parents are about 10 minutes north. Her grandma's about 10 minutes south. So we're just using all this family area to get the to get the bee boxes out and spread out you know within a five ten mile radius of where we're at come on bud hey bud it's not every day you get to pet a cow oh he's gonna lick me those cows that are right on the other side of the fence from us at home they are so scared of us they won't come up to us at all these guys are really friendly what's up buddy i don't know if you guys have ever heard of the cow lick challenge i've seen a few videos on it where you let a, a cow lick your head or lick your feet they're pretty funny. I'm curious if this guy will lick my hand or my head here. Licking my hand a little bit. Always fun to see some different breeds, different colors. What do you guys think? Are there any surefire ways to get a cow to come up to be petted? I guess if I had some feed, I could give it some feed. Maybe some grass? Come get the goods. Oh boy. I saw the I saw the chomping and immediately started thinking of my hand getting in there. Hey buddy. Go home. We got a few things to work on back there. See if I can get some more of these beehives placed today.
It's a hot one today. I'm gonna cool these kids off with a hose. Mega garden today, checking in on the plants, maybe doing some harvesting. What do you think we got? Well, here's one started right here. Uh, pumpkin? Uh, or could that be a zucchini too? It might be the ball zucchini, but I don't, I've never had them. We planted a lot of crazy stuff this year, so what we think it might be. I think it's a zucchini. It might be a ball zucchini, it could be a pumpkin, we're not sure, but it kind of looks like a zucchini. And these tomatoes have a uh, ways to go from our ones at home, they're much smaller. Look at that pumpkin. Wow, how long is that? It's going through the corn. Find is way back there. One, two, three, four, five, six feet long. This is the summer squash in this row. Here's a few small ones. Our first summer squashes of the year. We'll have a bunch of pumpkins this year. We may not have to go to the pumpkin patch. Yeah, I know. They might come to us. So, we got a little bit of a harvest. Now we need to go over and hang a bee box that's a couple miles away at Becky's aunt and uncle's house. All right, so Becky's chit-chatting with the other lady. We're not having a great day here and I'm having a hard time. I can't hold the box up. The box is very heavy. So I gotta try to hold it up with my body, against my body, and have this ladder be on movable posts and try to get this thing strapped up. This thing, this is impossible for one person to do. So I'm a little frustrated right now but I'll figure it out. Basically, I need to find a spot where I don't have to stand on those. I was kind of liking that spot. I'm just gonna have to find a spot where I don't have to stand on those because it's um, it's not easy with one person to be able to do that because I just broke the lid a little bit. All right, let's try this again. All right, well, that's the lowest box we have so far. I'm not crazy about that, but this was a, it was a little dangerous to step on. So at least we got it up. It's still seven feet in the air. So I think that's gonna be fine. And this is at Becky's uncle's house, which is a couple miles away from her parents. So we've got five boxes up. We've got one left to do. Tonight we're doing barbecue chicken. I had the chicken cooking all day in the crock pot and just pulled it apart and put some barbecue sauce with it. Mixed it all up, it's cooking really slow right now. And I thought I would make some of the summer squash that we picked this morning. I was gonna just chop them up and put them with potatoes and onions and saute them in the skillet. Oh, 
I do a song? Yes, please. I got mom some. Maybe I need three mugs. This one's a lot. It's fine. Okay. Mom, can you eat that much? Where I can call her some milk. Yes, take it. Yes, chicken. Uh, chicken? Yeah. You want some potatoes? Um, I want to use potatoes for french fries. Want some potatoes? No. <laughs> we grew that squash. Yep. Yippee. Yeah? Yeah, it was in the big garden. You want to try a little piece? Is that pretty cool that we grew that? Yeah. Is it good? Is it good? I like the taste, not this. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching.